This is a, uh, a woman I've known for a long time. It's a nurse that worked with me. And she is going to have a multifocal today. She has a high axial length and a very flat cornea. Are we okay? Yeah. Sure. Right. I basically put some viscoelastic in the eyes and visco. I've made a 2.4 millimeter incision. I do prefer that only because I get less pore locking or movement in the eye, particularly if I'm in a video. I'll make a stab incision, and now I will use my favorite little disposable forceps, which last a lot longer than any other Epsilon forceps around. And this is what the, uh, the laser will do. making an anterior capsulotomy. I'm doing this a little slowly just to show with a multifocal, I like to make sure it's large enough and round enough. The laser takes a little bit longer, but down the road I'm sure it'll be attached to a microscope. Give me a little favor, just irrigate the corner a little bit. Mm -hmm. Happy new place, please. Mm -hmm. Like the nice thing about this machine is you can go from FACO to Epi Nucleus, which is part of FACO, and I can try to remove some of this with the FACO tip, or I can move on to uh, irrigation aspiration. What I'm doing is just loosening this part up. This area was a little bit more adherent with my hydro dissection. It's got a pretty dense posterior tip capture camera. She has a flat cornea, so there are two multifocals that I use. She has a little bit of cylinder, so I will choose either the Alcon or the AMO lens, depending upon the prescription I want to make for post op The lenses only come in half diopter differences. And I'm very careful in my office to make sure that we treat any ocular surface disease, which I believe Dr. Decker will go over. And you can see she has a little tear here. Miss some disco, please open another one, please. And I anticipated this, I actually talked to Ted about this before I did the case. Individuals with pretty dense posterior subcapsular cataracts often will get a little tear. I might need to back up the uh, three piece lines. So this is going to be a little bit more tedious or meticulous. I'm just going to slowly avoid the area that has the tear. Now this will here. And I can still put a, a one piece or single piece lens in. It stays like this at this angle. Or I can put a three piece in. Just because of this location, I'm going to put the three piece in. So we'll enlarge the wound. And with this nice capsulotomy, I can capture this optic and put the haptics here. Again, with this multifocal lens, you need to make sure that it is well centered. 
Now, there's also a time where a surgeon can decide if you don't feel comfortable putting the multifocal in it, there is really no harm in putting a, uh, a single piece lens. Post operative patients still do well even with the toric lens. And the toric lens does not come in a three piece. So basically, the bottom line is treat the patient with the best result you can give them. I'm just going to enlarge this wound. A few years ago, I had the same situation. I was putting <laughs> multifocal in my mother. And she has a home and some other issues. And I knew she was going to fail. So with this lens, I slowly open it. Might want to kill my McPherson case. Try to send it a little better. Okay. The microscope, Steve. Is that better? No. Oh. Gotta go down towards the chin a bit. Is that good? Yeah. Better. You can see it's a multifocal. I think you've got these these rings here. I'm going to capture the object. And then I'll take a Kelman McPherson of this. I'm going to put this in the sulcus. the most important thing, obviously, for these lenses. You can lower the bottle, just keep it back here. So I'll keep the bottle here as we kept the vitreous face intact. This lens is centered in the optic. She maybe has a 2-7 incision. is a stigmatic neutral. I do a more of a limbal than a corneal incision as a rule. And I'm just making sure this thing, this baby is sitting where I want it. Effective pupil it really helps keep the uh, implant stable, but you can see the implant is in the anterior capsular optic zone. So it's going to be very stable. Lasting. I'm just watching this lens as I hit the, the eye a little bit as I make it softer. Have a little bit of cortex here. A little BSS piston. I'm just careful not to disturb anything else here. She'll have a great result. Just a touch more BSS and we're done. These people will come down. We'll, I'll use a drop of pilocarpine after this.